Mr. Speaker, the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict is sometimes spoken of as a frozen war, but actually I'm not, I'm not sure that's the right metaphor. That implies a stability that isn't there. It would be better to think of it as, as some kind of infection under the skin that uh, festers and that poisons the surrounding region. It doesn't just prejudice relations between Armenia and Azerbaijan. It's also prejudicing relations between Armenia and Turkey, uh, indeed also with Iran, with Russia, and not least with the European Union. And it's extraordinary that so many years have passed without this issue being resolved. It's not for want of trying. Virtually every international organization has tried to mediate some sort of settlement. And I just wonder whether the reason w that we haven't been able to reach uh, an equitable and lasting peace is because the international mediation, run as it is by international diplomats, is based around the idea of multinational states and existing territorial borders. A while ago, the, president, the former president of Armenia, Mr. Terpatrosian, said that if there had been a, a, a ceding of some of the territory of Nagorno-Karabakh, there might have been peace in 1997. 800,000 Azeris, 400,000 Armenians have been displaced. Surely it's time to look at some alternative to the multinational state, at some territorial readjustment, if that's the way to bring a lasting peace.